you are given that f of x is equal to 6x cubed minus 13x squared minus 21x plus 18. Evaluate f of 3. Using detailed reasoning, express f of x as a product of three linear factors. Okay, so this question is about using the uh, remainder and factor theorem. So we've got f of x is equal to 6x cubed minus 13x squared minus 21x plus 18. F of 3 means put a 3 in everywhere that there's an x. So it's 6 times 3 cubed minus 13 times 3 squared minus 21 times 3 plus 18. So that's going to give me 162 minus 117 minus 63 plus 18, which gives me 0. So now we're going to express this as a product of three linear factors. Now, because f of 3 is equal to 0, it means that x minus 3 is a factor using the factor theorem and the remainder theorem. Sorry, using the remainder theorem. So we do a bit of polynomial division. So we put 6x cubed minus 13x squared minus 21x plus 18. Make sure you leave plenty of space because you're going to uh, write the answers in the right column. So the first thing we're going to divide is 6x cubed divided by x, which is 6x squared. So let's get written up in the squared column. 6x squared times x gives you... 6x cubed. 6x cubed times minus 3 gives you minus 18x squared. You now do a subtraction. You have to be careful by doing uh, minus 13x squared minus minus 18 squared gives you 5x squared. If you're not sure, just you know do minus 13 minus minus 18 on your calculator. And now you need to bring down the minus 21x. And now what we have to do is we will have to divide 5x squared by x to get 5x. Then multiplying 5x times x gives you 5x squared. 5x times minus 3 will give you minus 15x. Again, doing the subtraction and being careful that you do minus 21x minus minus 15. So it's minus 21x plus 15, which is minus 6x. Bring down the 18, and now you're going to divide minus 6x by x and get minus 6. Minus 6 times x gives you minus 6x, and minus times minus 3 gives you plus 18. And when you do the subtraction now, you get no remainder, which is what we expected, because here we've got f of 3 is equal to 0. So... What we need to do now is factorise the quadratic expression. So uh, this is the way I factorise a quadratic expression. I say the product is 6 times minus 6, which gives me uh, minus 36. I take that first number and multiply it by the last number. Then the sum is 5. Then I want two numbers. When I multiply them together, I get minus 36. And when I add the same two numbers, I get 5. These are called the factors, so the minus 4 and 9. Minus 4 times 9 makes minus 36. Minus 4 plus 9 makes 5, so it's okay. These two you can write down anyway, but it is better to write the smaller one first. Now we write down our expression as 6x squared minus 4x plus 9x minus 6. We group the first two terms together, and then we fully factorise that, that makes the, the uh, factor will be 2x, and that leaves me with a 3x minus 2. Bring down the sign, whatever it is, plus, now group these two together, and the highest common factor here is going to be 3, and again, I'm going to be left with 3x minus 2. So if you do the whole procedure correctly, this bracket and this bracket will be the same. Now, that is now a common factor, so we can come out, and you're going to be left with 2x plus 3. So 6x squared plus 5x minus 6 becomes 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 3. So we now have the three linear factors, x minus 3, 3x minus 2, and 2x plus 3. So f of x is going to be equal to x minus 3, 3x minus 2, and 2x plus 3. 
Okay, so this has been a video really to show you how to, how to express a, a cubic into a product of three linear factors. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.